Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing some of Romance makeup product. I'll be creating two different looks. One is a cool tone look and the other one is a warm tone look. And if you are interested, then keep on watching. Because I have an olive undertone, I think most of the time I look better in warm tone colors. I would say that people who have a lighter skin tone and who are much paler would look good in cool tone colors. With that said, to be honest, you can have any kind of different skin tone and still rock both cool and warm tone, but it actually depends on how you put the look together. In this video, I'll be going over two of Ramen's palette, their cheek formula and the three lip tints. All of the products are gifted to me from Style Korean except for the Cool Tone palette which I received from Olive Young. Style Korean sent me the complete makeup set to create a warm tone makeup look which I will do in my second look. As for the Cool Tone look, I just have this palette so we're going to create an eye makeup look with it. This is the Better Than Eye Cool Tone palette in Dry Buckweed and it features Cool Gray Tone. This palette is the second palette of the Better Than Eyes music series of the 4 Pan Eyeshadow palette. You can tell that this is the second palette because of the double music note on the front of the packaging. I received this from Olive Young, but you can also purchase it on the Style Korean website, which I will leave in the description box below. I took a peek at the website and this palette gives you more of an autumn vibe and it looks like you can create an entire matte look with just the three matte shades in this palette. In today's video, I will be using all four shades, so let's give these a swatch and create a look. Shade number one is Soft Wheat and is a nude base color used to brighten the eyelid. This shade has a matte finish and blends with my skin tone as you can barely see the color. This is the perfect shade for me to apply all over my eyelid to set my eyeshadow primer. The brush I'm using is the Sigma E40 blending brush and I want to cover my entire lid with this shade so that the rest of the eyeshadow in this palette will blend together nicely. Shade number two, Good Gray, is a gray-brown matte color. I guess you could say that this is the closest shade to buckwheat flower when they are dried. I use this shade to deepen up the crease with my matte 217 brush and I'm just blending this in a back and forth motion so that the edges are a bit softer. Then I'm bending my brush to apply the shade to my lower lash line. Shade number three, Shiny Buckwheat, is said to be a subtle gray hue shadow with dewy galaxy glitter. I am a fan of Korean eyeshadow glitters as they are super easy to apply and they do not have as much fallout as Western brands. I will get back to this shade as I normally apply glitter at the end. Shade number four, Dark Gray, is the last shade and I would describe this as more of a dark brown shade with more of a gray base undertone and a matte finish. This is a perfect shade for a deep contour of the eyes. I used a pointed end brush to pick up this shade and pack the color onto the outer corner of my eyes. Then I'm bending the tip of my brush to apply this shade as close to my lower lash line as I can, but focusing more towards the outer third. I went back in with my MAC 217 brush to diffuse the edges so that they look like they're blended nicely together. Now I'm coming back to the glitter and I'm using the Makeup Forever lip brush to pick up shiny buckwheat and applying this to the center of my lid. I really like the formula of this glitter as there are barely any fallout. I have seen a lot of Korean apply glitters using their fingers, but I find that this formula works well with a lip brush. And I'm also adding this to my lower lash line to brighten up my eyes. Then I tight line my waterline with the Urban Decay 24 Glide On Pencil in the shade Perversion. I'm using the Girlactic eyeliner to draw out my wing and line the inner corner of my eyes. Then going over top with a magnetic eyeliner along with magnetic eyelashes. To finish off the look, I'm applying the Raman Lip Tint in number 13, Eat Dotori, to my lips. And this is the finished look. This is more of a warm tone lip color as I don't have a cool tone lip color to go with it, but I still think that it goes well with the cool tone eye look. In case I forget, if you want to know more about the magnetic eyelash that I'm wearing, I will put a link in the description box below as I recently did a review on them. I hope you all like this cool tone glittery eye look. Now moving on to the second look, which is the look I have on right now. Since I was sent the full warm tone makeup look from Style Korean, I'm excited to show you how I created this look. I'm going to start off with the Better Than Eye Day Mango Tulip Palette. This is a four shade eyeshadow palette that contains shades of coral pink, brown, and is also inspired by dry flowers. The first shade, Soft Coral, is a very light pastel peachy shade with a matte finish. It looks like it can almost blend in with my skin tone, but you can tell that the color is there, but it's just very subtle, which makes it a perfect transition shade. I'm using my MAC 217 brush to pick up this shade and applying it all over my crease and my lid space. 
The second shade Romantic Tulip is slightly darker than the first shade and it also has a matte finish. It is a very subtle shade and looks very easy to blend. I'm going to use the same brush and dip the tip into Romantic Tulip to deepen up the crease and try to stay below the first shade. I'm also going to sweep this color beneath my lower lash line. Now for the third shade, Tulip Perfume. This is a pressed glitter. When I first swatched this shade, I was in love with it. It is such a pretty shimmer and doesn't really have any fallout. I will come back to the shade as I normally apply shimmer shades or pressed glitter at the very end. The fourth shade, which is Mango Tulip Garden, is more of a brownish shade to me and has a warm undertone and a matte finish. This is the deepest shade in the palette and can be used to deepen up the outer corner of the eyes and you can also use it to fill in your brows. I used a dense brush to pack this on the outer corner of my eyes. Now I'm bending the brush and applying this as close to my lash line as I can but focusing more on the outer third. I'm going in with my MAC 217 brush and blending it outwards. Then I'm going back to the third shade to pick up the pressed glitter. The Koreans really know how to make pressed glitter. You don't have to use a wet brush to make this to stick to your eyes. I'm using my Makeup Forever lip brush to apply this directly to my eyelid and there's barely any fallout. I also wanted to take this down to my lower lash line but closer to the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just going to tightline my waterline with the Urban Decay 24 Hours Eyeliner in the shade Perversion. Then draw out a wing with the Galactic Eyeliner and add on false lashes and this is the final look. Now moving on to the cheeks, I'm going to use the Better Than Cheek Number no. 2 Peach Chip. This shade looks very good on the model and is said to be a natural blush dry from peaches. It is a light dry peach color and is very subtle in my opinion. After the swatch, I feel that this is very light for my skin tone. Well, we will have to see how this turns out. This is said to be my cheek but better. I'm applying this blush with my Lancome blush brush and I'm just patting the color on and doing a little of a sweeping motion to blend out the color. The swatch I did earlier turned out so light that I can barely see the color but when I apply this using a brush, I think it actually looks pretty good and it shows up quite well. You can see that this blush is very light and very subtle. For lips, I have the Raw Matte Best Tint Edition in Warm Tone Pick, which is a trio set. This is a warm tone kit that has shades with orange and brown tone. There are two lip tints that have a shiny finish and one with a matte finish. The first lip tint I have here is the Juicy Lasting Tint number no. 7 Jube Jube, and this is what the applicator looks like. This shade is said to be my lip but better and creates a mellow mood and has a glossy finish. I'm just going to apply this all over my lips and this is the final look. I do consider this lip tint more of a lip gloss since it is transparent and it sort of enhances my natural lip color and it doesn't feel sticky at all. The second lip tint is the Juicy Lasting Tint in number 13, Eat Dotori. This lip tint has a hint of autumn acorn on your lips. It is described as a brick acorn jelly color and has a shiny finish. It appears to have a brown and warm undertone and is a great shade for the autumn season. This was the shade that I used for my first look. Since I didn't have a cool tone tint for my cool tone eye look, I used a warm tone tint, Eat Dotori instead. And I think it works well with this look. I personally think that depending on how you put the look together, you can mix and match cool tone and warm tone colors. The last shade I have is the Zero Velvet Tint Number no. 2 Joyful. This is another beautiful My Lip But Better shade that will look good on anyone. Compared to the other two, this one has a matte finish. This shade looks almost like the first shade except that it is more pigmented and a matte version. It does feel very velvety and I usually find matte liquid lipstick a bit dry and I actually put chapstick on before applying this lip tint. I find that after wearing lip tints for a longer period of time, they do leave a tint on your lips. I left the swatches on my arm for about 10 minutes then wiped it off with a makeup wipe. You can see that it leaves behind a tint. So when you eat, drink, or kiss someone, you don't have to worry about the color completely going away. Overall, I did enjoy the two looks I created with these palette and I am more of a warm tone person. So the dry mango tulip would be my preferred palette. And as for the cheek, I wasn't sure that I was gonna like this cheek formula because when I was swatching it, it came out super light on my skin tone. But when you apply it with a brush over your cheeks, it actually looks pretty good. And it's a very buildable color if you feel like you need a little bit more blush on your cheek. So yeah, I really like the formula and I like that it's um, very subtle and buildable. And lastly, for the three lip tints, I actually had a hard time picking which one is my favorite shade because the 
these are my type of color to wear and they are more of an everyday lip color and I can see myself wearing this more on a regular basis depending on the outfit that I am going to wear for that day. Let me know your thoughts on the Romance makeup product and if you spot any favorites and if you are looking to try any of these products in the comment section below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!